How's it going everyone? I'm Paul from Green Gears. Down here at the 52nd Annual Arts Fest brought to you by Dollar Bank. By far one of the greatest events in Pittsburgh. Every year it rains like crazy. For some reason the sun is out in full force this year. Cultural Trust has called on to us for a couple different services. So I just want to explain to you about you know some of our event-based services, some of the stuff that the Cultural Trust booked us for, and a little bit about the festival. So what the Cultural Trust did is they contracted us for a couple different services. One was our back panel advertising, where we help create awareness around the city for two weeks prior to the event. We also are doing a shuttle service. People can get picked up here right at Point Park, taken over to the different areas of the festival to help keep the movement of people, get people in these galleries that may not get as much traffic. So besides the pedicabs, they also booked us for two cargo bikes to help their Zero Waste Pittsburgh program. This is a large scale composting program, great for an event based setting. They contracted us to do all the removal. So in the past, gas powered vehicles would do this. We switched this over and now this is through pedal power. These composting units over here, people will approach them and be informed of where the different materials go and then separated out back so that nothing is wasted. We're back here at the Pennsylvania Resource Council sorting station. I'm here with Dave. He is heading the operation. He's going to tell you a little bit about what goes on once the, the product is brought back by the cargo bikes. So what we're doing here is we have a uh, sorting station set up. We're taking recyclables, trash, and compostables. Uh, this is the trash that is not part of the uh, regular recycling stations that are out on the field. This is kind of behind the scenes stuff here. And we are sorting it out by hand to try to maximize diversion. Um, last year for this event, by doing this hand sort, we were able to divert 83% of the trash generated by the Arts Festival in 2010. And we are looking to uh, at least equal that number in 2011. It's efforts like this and partnerships with people like Dollar Bank and the Colcom Foundation that evolves these sort of efforts every year and gives us an opportunity to really thrive in this event setting. Check out all we have to offer at www.ggpetty.com.